Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Midlands International Business Awards for 2009. I'd like you to welcome onto the stage Mr. Graham Cartledge, the chairman of Benoit. Thank you very much. Benoit, yes, we started a small business. My own practice started in a, a small village in Nottinghamshire, Collingham. My wife was on reception and I was doing everything else. The basis of this little discussion is to tell you very briefly how I moved from cow sheds in uh, Nottinghamshire into Kowloon and the large building uh, on the right is something we're involved with in Hong Kong. But 10 years ago, I took a view that perhaps the world wouldn't be as secure just trading into the UK. And I think this coincided with the Prime Minister in the UK TI's notion that we should all start looking at the emerging markets. And again, I, d I do want to emphasize that the support we've received from the UK TI uh, and the whole team in government has been magnificent because their notion of developing our business platform right across the world is a very sound one. And I, I was delighted to be with Peter Mandelson meeting the Premier of China six weeks ago in Beijing. And quite frankly, from a lad from Newark, that's not bad, folks. So um, <laughs> do stick at it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Mazepa Cossacks. Graham alluded earlier to success abroad um, and I thought well how can I relate to success abroad and then I thought about the World Cup final in Australia and thought we kick their asses which is pretty much what you do when you go around you just go around kicking people's asses and beat them in their own backyard World Cup final 2003 we run out in a red tracksuit tops do a little bit of a semi warm-up then get into a huddle waiting for the national anthems and Martin Johnson has got these two fingers, Kenny Everett style, looking at everyone, pointing, tiniest of gap between his two eyebrows, where he just relaxed his face. He looked every single man in the eye. And we were like, here we go. This is that Churchillian moment we've all been waiting for. Now, a lot of people seem to think that Johnny Wilkinson won the World Cup, but for me, that speech meant everything. <laughs> it was an emotional time. I struggled to tell that story daily. <laughs> Congratulations, not only to those who win this evening, but of course to the nominees as well, because it's uh, a huge achievement just to get to a nomination stage. Uh, but many congratulations to you all. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Our first category of the evening is the New Exporter Award, and I would like to welcome Graham Cartledge back to the stage uh, to present it. The envelope I have here, it says New Exporter Award, so we're on the right one, and it goes to Monica Healthcare. Our next category for the evening is the International Business Communication Award, and I would like to welcome to the stage John O'Reilly from the East Midlands Development Agency to present this award. So the winner of the International Business Communication Award is 
Bambino Mio. So moving on to the next three awards, which are for established exporters. The first of these is for China. And to present this award, please welcome to the stage the head of the East Midlands China Business Bureau, Jason Feely. I wonder who done it. Who is it? Okay. Who is it? I'm dying to know. Romax Technology. <laughs> Our next award uh, in the established exporter category is for India. And presenting this award is Mahendra Mistry of the East Midlands India Business Bureau. Mahendra. And so we build up the suspense, as, as an expert once told me. <laughs> whoa, 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 too quick. <laughs> I don't... Girls will tell you, just slow I... down. Slow down a bit. Well, they've often told me to stop, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and so the winner of the Established Exporter Award for India goes to... Gleeds. Our final category of the evening is for the established exporter worldwide. And to present this award, please welcome to the stage Roy Harris of HSBC. This is where I'm supposed to drop the envelope, is it? And this, is the, this is a big one, is it? Play it out. This is a big one. And the winner is Castler. <laughs> Well, that just about concludes the award ceremony for another year. But we do have one final award, the East Midlands International Business of the Year. And to present this award, I would like to invite back to the stage Peter Hogarth. <laughs> Submitting strong applications for two of the categories, I'm delighted to announce that the winner of this year's International Business of the Year goes to, let me just check it. Romax Technologies. <laughs>